Jin is my favorite character in Tekken, but you know who I miss the most, and I wish they would bring back Gone the Dinosaur. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffulis, and today we'll be looking at the Storm Collectibles Tekken 7 Gin. Honestly, I was hoping for this Gin when they released it, but you know what? I'm down with this Gin. It looks like he's the Gin from Tekken 3, but you can also pick this, uh, I believe, this uh, costume skin in Tekken 7. We're going to look at paint detail, articulation, scale, and accessories, and if you're looking to pick this up, unfortunately, he's sold out, but you can still go to www.dstartoys.com will have the source for awesome action figures. So we're going to open it up and let's see how he is. So enough of me talking, let's go to the top cam. There he is right there. Looking really, really good. Now, when it comes to Storm Collectibles, unless it's a character I really want, I'm going to buy it. Not every day do I try to complete like a series like SH Figure Arts. I have all the Street Fighter figures. But when it comes to like Tekken, I don't really have them all just because I only really want uh, the Mish Mishima clan, which I have Kazuya and Hihachi here. We're going to see how they compare. So I have the whole family here. We're going to see how he is. And Jin is one of my favorite characters. My first Tekken game I ever played was Tekken 3, and I'm glad that we actually got this costume because it reminds me of his uh, Tekken 3 costume. So enough of me talking about that. Let's look up close. Let's see how Jin Kazama is. And let's look here. That face is definitely Jin Kazama. As you can see here, we have the hair and the bangs cover covering his face. And of course, we have that hair that is very reminiscent of Kazuya. Now, one thing that, that kind of bothers me about this figure is I think the bangs on his hair are a little bit too thick. We could have lightened it up a little bit so we get to see more of that face. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, when you look at it at a certain angle, so you can see right here, it just really covers his face because the bangs are way too thick. It could have gone for a little bit thinner, but you know what? I still like this face. I love the hair. I love the details and everything like that. So I have to say this is very, very good in my opinion. Let's look at the musculature right here. We have a very consistent paint job right here. Really nice tan skin with all kinds of musculature. And of course we have the soft body. Now here's something that's interesting. Usually when you get a Storm Collectibles, um, you get kind of like a hollowed chest but not this time around. It looks like we're having a little bit more filling. And I'll show you what I mean here. When you look at Kazuya, you'll notice that in the chest, you can really go in deep with there in there because, well, he's mostly hollow. Uh, and, well, not mostly, but the joints are still there, especially Hihachi. Look at Hihachi. It's like super squishy. But when it comes to Jin, it looks like he has more of a chest day going on here. It's much more solid. Maybe the joints inside that deal with the arms are much thicker. Um, so there you have it. That's really interesting. I thought he would be more hollow, uh, but he's not, and that's really cool. Uh, the midsection, on the other hand, is is very solid. As you can see, the shading on the six-pack there looks really, really good. And of course, let's look at the pants here. I love this single flame on the, um, on the right leg here. That looks really cool, really solid right there. So you can get the kick right there. And most importantly, if you've been playing Tekken 3, we all know the cheap combo <laughs> with the swing right there. And yeah, that is really cool. And let's look at these awesome gloves. Now, this is something that I was really hoping they'd knock out of the park, and they really did here. The gauntlets right here, really nice. It looks like they have a shiny red glossy paint right here. And with the metal parts right here looking really, really good. I have to say the gauntlets are really well done with a matte finish on the inner glove right there. So there you have it. I have to say, really happy that they made Jin. Um, I guess my only issue when it comes to his details, I really, really wish that they... Oh man, those bangs, just they're really in the way. They really are in the way. But you know what? I have to say, I'm just glad that we have a Jin figure. And he looks really good. So, let's talk about scale. Articulation and scale to be exact. Oh yeah, also the tattoo on the side. Looking really good. Now, he is really tall from the very top of the hair here. We're looking at a seven, almost eight inch figure. So he's a really big toy. 
like I said, I don't really collect Storm because the scale is too big. So unless it's a character I really like, I'm going to get it. Hence, I have all of them now. The Mishima family. And let's stand Kazuya. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can stand him up. There you go. We have Kazuya there. And of course, the grandfather. Hey, Hachi. So now I have all three of them. Pretty happy about that. Let's see if I can stand up Hihachi right there. So there you have it. That's how he scales with all three of them. It looks like Jin is the tall. Maybe Kazuya is the tallest out of all of them. But there you go. That's how they scale. If you're wondering how he scales with other Storm collectibles, we have Axel from Streets of Rage there. And that's he looks really good. But, of course, we got to compare him with other action figures of different um, different lines. Here's Mafex Spider-Man, as you can see. Woo! Towers over him. If you're thinking about adding Marvel versus Capcom versus Street Fighter versus um, uh, anything like or versus Tekken, that's not going to happen. And especially when you try to put him with Dragon Ball Z. This is the um, clone figure, the Abomination by Demoniacal Fit. Obviously, not going to happen. And if you're looking at the Marvel Universe, here's SH Figure Arts. Right there. Uh, speaking of Marvel, we gotta always compare it with Marvel Legends. This is a line of figures that a lot of people have. If you're thinking about adding these two together, no, this is not gonna match. You cannot put these two together at all. So, let's talk about articulation. We have an up and down here at the toe. The foot pad kind of gets in the way, but the foot pad is soft. So look at it. look at this right here. It's soft, so it doesn't get too much in the way. We have a double jointed knee right there. We have that joint the the hip joint there which is usually just a swivel joint with a peg now let me just say something real quick before I continue I had an issue with my Kazuya the leg comes off really easy I solved it with some uh, the super glue tightening method it is much tighter than it used to be but it's still there unfortunately uh, I'm gonna test this out real quick and it looks like that's not the issue on my figure. Thank goodness. We have two articulation points in the middle right here. So you can get really good ab crunch. What do you think? He has a six pack there because he has a really good ab crunch. We have butterfly joints right there on the shoulders, which is really cool. We have a bicep swivel and we have a double jointed elbow right there and a wrist joint right there and a ball joint here at the neck looking to be well about 20 points of articulation. And of course, we got to do all kinds of poses. So we can do the midsection punch. Huh, there you go, right there. You got to do the Mishima uppercut. Boom, right there. Pow, taking off lots of health. And let's see if you can do the sweep kick right here. And there you go. And of course, you got to do the side kick right there. Pow, right there. And the axe kick, boom, so you can do the axe kick, the flying knee, and there you have it. He's looking really, really good. No issues here with articulation. He's articulated really well. And just because, let's see if we can get a superhero landing pose. And there you have it. So he can do a superhero landing pose, as you can see right here. So let's go into accessories. Let's go to the top cam right here. Uh, we do get his power punching effect piece, which is really, really nice. We get two extra heads. We get a yelling head right here, a grinning head, and six extra hands, which we will look at at the end of the video. So let's go to the front cam here. Let's see what the heads are. We get a grinning face right here. Let's look real close at that. That's it right there. That's him grinning. Again, the bangs are just in the way of the face. I don't know why they did that, but he still looks good. I mean, you just, that's really the only issue I think I have with it. And there's the yelling face right there, which looks really, really solid. Um, let's get this in. So we got to get him in the proper pose. I believe it is something like this. So this is the effect piece. You should be able to just stick the hand in there. Yes, that is a really tight. Ooh, oh boy, look at that. 
<laughs> Look at this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, son. And then, of course, grandfather. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's beautiful. That's great. That's great. Uh, okay, so that's really it. Uh, when it comes to accessories, I don't think we even get a stand. Do we get a stand? No. They, the storm decided to stop including stands with their figures. I don't know why. Uh, so let's come up with a conclusion of Jin Kazama from Tekken 7. Um, I love this figure. Don't get me wrong. Let's talk about the negatives first. Ah, come on. You know what? I'm already going to bring it up. The bang's way too thick. Come on. We need something a little bit thinner. It would have been really nice so we could see the most of the face. Right now, I'm seeing a lot of hair, <laughs> a lot of bangs, uh, and that is the biggest negative, I think. That is pretty much it when it comes to everything else. Look at all of the beautiful details on Jin right here. The gauntlets are really wonderful. The, the flame on the leg, really nice. I'm glad that these are soft so we can get some toe articulation on there. And man, the gauntlets especially. I really, really love how the gauntlets are. And also, they're kind of a soft plastic, so they're movable, so you can get as much of articulation on this guy as possible. And you know me, I love my effect pieces. Look at this center punch effect piece. Beautiful. Love the transition of the yellow, and then it goes to pink, and then it goes to red, and it's, it's, it's great. Fantastic. I really like where this figure is going. It's just that, ah, you gotta have the face, man. Gotta have more face, not a lot of bangs. Uh, and I think that's where this figure would kind of like make people not want to buy it. It's because when you look at it, you see, and here's, here's, here, let's look at the box. Here, I'll show, even show you what I'm talking about here. You could see a lot of Jin's face there, right? You could. And then you look at the figure, not so much. So that's the biggest negative. I still love this figure. I maybe one day in the future, the exclusive will be the uh, uh, King of the Iron Fist Tournament version or uh, King of the Mishima Clan Corporation Jin with the trench coat and stuff like that. But for now, we have a Tekken 3 outfit, which I really like because I love Tekken 3. And that's my take on it. I really like this figure. And if you're looking to buy it, unfortunately, I don't have any more. I'm going to see if I can get more. You can get it at dscartoys.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.